Alex Ferguson got it just about right. His olive branch of friendship was ignored. This was unprecedented intimidation as soon as United had touched down. Look at Eric Cantona's face. He, like everybody else, just couldn't believe it. You could see the astonishment in the faces and the players had got their first taste of what was in store. The accommodation and situation would have been ideal had you been a honeymooning couple enjoying anonymity and relaxation. But Manchester United personnel were marked men. The police presence was straight out of George Orwell's 1984. They were prepared for a battle come what may. You seem to feel threatened by the police. They seem to be. Oh, they were weighing down the, the rules, you can't go there, stay there, come down, when you maybe went to warm up, you go now, right? There was a threatening attitude from you. From the moment the players stepped out onto the pitch for a look around, they knew they were in a cauldron, a cauldron of ugly fanaticism, of unceasing passion, of deafening noise. This was nerve-wracking. The police presence was unrivaled. They knew the scores already with their riot shields and helmets. And in the dressing room, disappointment. The injured Gary Pallister and Mark Hughes left out. Outside, the dignitaries were arriving, accepting the bouquets, the applause from the partisans. Luckily, there's still room for artisans. The manager doing his best to calm the mood, showing a few tricks from yesteryear. It's all Eric all he knows. The formalities complete, the battle lines drawn, firecrackers ablaze on the terraces. Manchester United knew they had to keep their nerve like never before. Here goes Hakan again. It's a great challenge. The Parker has turned it straight back to Kubilai. It's a dangerous looking throw from Hakan! Oh, from Schmeichel! If Manchester United make progress in the European Cup this season, that could be the moment. There is no doubt about that. This really was a magnificent save, or you could say it was an awful miss, but Hakan did everything right, and Schmeichel threw himself, and that was absolutely magnificent save. Cantona, Robson. Turn forward to Giggs, that's a great ball. Giggs in here! Oh. oh my word, that was so close. Very unlucky indeed, a good ball from Robson. Giggs took it well, he just, he just sort of didn't hit it. That was United's best effort. As frustration spilled over with the time-wasting tactics, Eric Cantona showed the fiery side of his nature, or relative to what United had been forced to suffer. A few well-chosen Gallic phrases, simple as that. He's had a look at his watch. He's got to have had a bit more time than this, surely. He hasn't. He hasn't had it any. And time has run out for Manchester United. They are out of the European Cup. Galatasaray have completed the greatest triumph in the history of Turkish football. And the champions of England are sadly beaten.
sometimes you, if you don't talk at all, it's got more of an impact. And it was one of these nights that were all sick, you know. So it's a great lesson for them. If they'd been playing AC Milan and been 2 0 up, they would not have lost it. So therein lies a tale, you know, that you can't underestimate anyone in Europe. Are you glad to get out of Turkey? Oh, you bet. I'll love to get back. I tell you. Insult to injury, Eric Cantona carpeted by UEFA for allegedly insulting the referee. A drop in the ocean compared to United's treatment. The captain has his say. Well over in the tunnel it was uh, the, the policeman who was just totally out of order. Um, Eric had lost his temper and I got him calmed down and I said let's go back to the dressing room. So I walked off with Eric and this policeman joined us halfway over the pitch. And when we reached the tunnel steps, as soon as Eric uh, went to go down, the, the policeman just full-blooded punch in the back of the head. Um, so I swung round to try and catch the, the, the policeman. And at this time, uh, all the, the, the police came in with the riot shields and that, and they pushed myself and Eric down the stairs. Um, and that's where I received the, the gash on the arm.